Hi, and welcome back to another fun and exciting episode of The Healthy Voyager. I'm Carolyn Scott Hamilton, and this time you're joining me in Oahu. Oahu is home to the largest population of all the islands in Hawaii, so for first-timers, it is a great place to get a feel for the island lifestyle while also getting the buzz of city life. With a rich history and arguably one of the most beautiful places on Earth, Oahu has something to offer every kind of traveler. On this episode, I showcase some of my favorite recommendations that work for couples, backpackers, and families alike. With a prime location right on Waikiki Beach, the Alohilani offers breezy style with luxurious undertones. From the Instagrammable infinity pool and cabanas to the stunning diamond head and ocean view rooms, rooftop tennis courts, and even batting cages, the Alohilani really offers unique amenities to all of its guests. One of the cool things about the Alohilani Resort is that they give you this awesome reusable water bottle so that you can refill your bottles with filtered water here in the lobby. So just another great eco-friendly and uh, customer-friendly thing they do here at the Alohilani. The Alohilani has five on-site dining experiences to satisfy every appetite. Lychee for morning buffet-style dining, grab-and-go eats at O-Bar, for poolside nibbles and cocktails at Swell. After some time at the beach here on Waikiki, you can just cross the street and hop right over to Mamasan here at the Alohilani Resort. Come on. Well, on a hot summer day like this, just off the beach or away from the pool, this dish is so refreshing and full of flavor. It's so simple. It's the rice bowl. They veganized one of the fish ones and used avocado instead of the ahi tuna, and it's so delicious. Frozen beer at Mama-san. Cheers. There's so much to do and see in Oahu. From beautiful nature to vibrant shopping and dining, there's no shortage of activities for any traveler. For a quick and tasty treat, look for Banan, originally a food truck. Now with several brick and mortar locations across the island, Banan is a tasty, guilt-free treat. Ice cream made entirely of frozen bananas. These chili treats come topped with all sorts of healthy goodies and can even be served inside your fruit of choice. Welcome to the Bishop Museum. One of the prettiest and most interesting museums I've been to in my travels is the Bishop Museum. Just the building alone is lovely, and the collection of Polynesian and Hawaiian history and relics is astounding. Pair that with their fun science center, complete with erupting volcano and rotating exhibit hall, you've got a great day of learning and discovery all in one place. Not just for kids, it's a great place for people of all ages to learn about Oahu and the history of Hawaii. So this busy food hall behind me is called The Street by Michael Mina, famous restaurateur, and it's located in the International Marketplace. And what's great about it is they've got all these different food stalls, so whoever you're with, you can go get pizza, you can get Middle Eastern, you can get tacos. But I found a vegan stand that's got vegan loco moco, and I gotta try a local faith. The street food hall literally has something for everybody. Mexican, Italian, Asian, to local eats. This eatery is a modern twist on the food courts of yore. Great food, fun cocktails, and accommodations for all kinds of diners. You can't go to Hawaii and miss out on a luau, but let me tell you, there's something even better located near the North Shore. Well, right behind me is the entrance to the Polynesian Cultural Center, which is essentially a living museum. It's got interactive things like hula classes and making coconut oil, all sorts of Polynesian cultural experiences from Hawaiian to Fijian, Samoan, and everything in between. I'm excited to check it out, so join me, won't you? The Polynesian Cultural Center opened in 1963. This living museum showcases Polynesian culture in a beautiful, interactive setting, featuring a walkable and lush set of villages. Visitors can learn about Hawaiian, Fijian, Samoan, Tahitian, and Tongan cultures while picking up a few skills as well. Want to learn how to hula dance, play the ukulele, or play island drums? You can do that and so much more at PCC, as well as stay for a vibrant show on the lagoon and of course, an extravagant luau complete with stadium show. Stick around and do some shopping, have some Dole Whip, 
and have a tasty meal at any number of vendors and restaurants. There's plenty of food and fun at PCC. If you're looking for a delicious Japanese fusion meal, head up to Morimoto, located at the Alohilani. Great beachfront ambiance, tremendous service, and some of the best food on the island. When in Oahu, you will notice a huge Japanese influence and nothing showcases that more beautifully than Byodo Inn Temple. Only $5 per person to get onto the grounds, it's a magical place that will transport you from the island life to Japan in seconds flat. Nestled at the foothills of the majestic Jurassic looking mountains on the east side of the island, Byodo Inn is a lovely place to spend an afternoon. When you think of Hawaii, many images of the 50s heyday pop into mind, a la Elvis Presley's Hawaii. That's why I love the Queen Kapiolani Hotel. Located at the edge of Waikiki Beach, this hotel celebrates that fun retro Hawaiian vibe in a chic way. Fun pop art, a terrific rooftop restaurant, bar and pool, fun rooms and great views of Diamond Head. This hotel also offers really great on-site activities that bring the spirit of aloha to their guests. If you've got some time while on the island, make sure you make a pit stop at the Dole Plantation. You get to check out the grounds, take a fun little tram tour, even go into a pineapple maze and get some delicious Dole Whip and other pineapple treats. A visit to the Dole Plantation may not be on your list, but it should be. With daily tours from Honolulu, or if you're lucky enough to have a car, it's a short drive out to the bustling beach city into the countryside of the island. It's got all sorts of fun activities, from a train ride through the plantation to a huge pineapple-shaped labyrinth, and of course, all the Dole Whip you can handle. Had to get my Dole Whip before leaving the Dole Plantation. lovely Heavenly Island restaurant located in the very Instagrammable Shoreline Hotel and uh, this place has something for everybody and they've got a lot of vegan foods or appetizers as they say here in Hawaii and I think I'm gonna dig in. Before or after sightseeing, a hearty meal is always in order. Located in the hip Shoreline Hotel, Heavenly serves breakfast, lunch and dinner as well as great cocktails. It's the perfect place for a healthy pick-me-up with a taste of the islands. Geographically speaking, Oahu and the Hawaiian Islands in general are a marvel. Making for beautiful views and plenty of hikes and swims, there's so much to choose from. Oahu's most iconic locale is Diamond Head, a volcanic crater that can be scaled to get some of the most breathtaking views of Waikiki, as well as the south shore of the island. Out of the tunnel, and up the stairs to the top. The hike can be done by people of all ages, but water, sunscreen, and appropriate footwear are a must. For a great place in the heart of Honolulu, the Hyatt Centric is a wonderful, chic, and modern with great amenities like a terrace pool that boasts all sorts of live entertainment, terrific restaurant bar, as well as a state gym. Following the trend of the eco-conscious hoteliers, the Hyatt-centric Waikiki also offers waters to their guests to fill up using filtered water stations around the property. And for coffee drinkers, there's a Starbucks reserve on the floor. Additionally, the Hyatt allows guests to grab towels for their beach adventures. The salad is so light and citrusy and full of flavor. It's really one of the best salads I've ever had. For travelers who love to visit famous filming locations, Oahu boasts some pretty famous places and Kualoa Ranch is probably one of the most famous. I'm here at the famous Kualoa Ranch here on the east side of Oahu. It's super famous because it's a major movie filming spot. I'm about to go on a super fun movie tour. One of the most famous things ever shot here is Jurassic Park. So join me on Kualoa Ranch. Perfect for adventure seekers as well as families, the highly recognizable Kualoa Ranch offers several activities from bus and ATV tours to canopy ziplining 
private island tours, to horseback rides, all taking visitors through various parts of the 4,000-acre property, most notably the Jurassic Valley. Chopper time. Many would agree that the best way to see Oahu is from the sky, and 808 Airmen Helicopter Tours is just the ticket. With chopper tours of varying lengths of time and locations, 808 Airmen is a great way to get a bird's eye view of the island and get a little knowledge dropped on you as well. There truly is no better way to see the island than up from above. For history buffs, it's imperative to visit Pearl Harbor Historic Site, an indoor as well as outdoor museum that houses a variety of interactive stations that immerse guests into what life was like on that fateful day. From a walk through submarine tour to the boat tour that takes you to the sunken remains of the SS Arizona, it's a great place to pay respects to fallen heroes and learn about life on the Hawaiian base. Spending some time exploring the North Shore? Then you have to be sure to stop into the world-famous Matsumoto Shave Ice. You can't come to the North Shore without hopping into Matsumoto's Shave Ice for a refreshing treat. Located in an adorable shopping area with tree-covered courtyard, Matsumoto has been serving up their signature Shave Ice since 1951 a great little stop to beat the heat. Oahu is well known for its incredible beaches and hikes, as well as some that lead to waterfalls. You can spend a full week there and not be able to experience them all. From the mermaid caves in Waianae, to jumping the rock at Waimea Bay, summiting the hike at Crouching Lion, or reaching the waterfall at Manoa Falls, you'll never get enough of the gorgeous scenery and adventure available on this beautiful Hawaiian island. Now, if you're looking for a great way to see the island from the water, be sure to take a lavish dinner sunset cruise with Star of Honolulu. I'm here on the captain's deck at the Star of Honolulu. It's a beautiful sunset dinner cruise that they offer here uh, just a few minutes away from Waikiki Beach. You get over to the Aloha Tower, get on the boat, they're going to serve you a fantastic meal with lovely entertainment and watch the sunset, see Diamond Head, Star of Honolulu is the place for you. Aloha, welcome aboard. <laughs> Serving up delicious eats and cocktails while you cruise the shores of Honolulu, reaching Diamond Head at sunset, it's an idyllic way to end any day on the Oahu. Boasting top-notch entertainment, incredible hospitality and service, as well as tasty food that accommodates all special diet guests, you'll want to make sure you get a reservation during your stay on Oahu. Well, it's time for me to leave Oahu, but I hope you'll join me next time on the next episode of The Healthy Voyager. Bye!